All right, now we're going to Ishan. He's also in Florida. Uh, you know Ishan. He's sent you some things outside of JV. He has questions related to single tenant retail. First question: What what would be some good incentives to get the tenants to come up on rent? Oh, the best incentive when you're bringing a tenant in is to pay them. To, to, to refund them or to cooperate in the tenant improvement. I'm gonna make it so easy for you to operate here. I'm gonna go ahead and put $50,000, $100,000. But don't, don't make it like easy in the conversation. They have to negotiate that and earn it. Because in a negotiation, people are always sensing how easy did I get that point? How flexible is the person? How sensitive are they? How desperate are they? This is human nature. You don't even have to train somebody for it. And I, I remember selling a condo and the guy was very young. He was a student and he walked in, he liked the condo and he screamed. He, he looked around and I said, okay, you can sleep on it. I just put the ad in there. He said, I'll take it, I'll take it. He screamed so loud. I just got scared. I was like, okay, okay, let's start the paperwork. He was young, he was excited. Of course, you know, it was a good condo. So you could sense right away he wanted it. He was desperate. There was very little inventory on the market and it was in Santa Clara, California. So uh, the rest of the question is, uh, how do I get the best? So if it's a new tenant, entice them by giving them the tenant improvement. The, if somebody's an existing tenant and they're gonna move up in rent, I just had a very heavy negotiation with, um, with the tenant that has been with me. And it was amazing because he came to me, he said, look, I'm a local person. I'm starting this brand of clothing. By, by the way, that shirt is from him. And it's a pretty nice shirt, uh, good quality. It's called 8X, $180 shirts. I didn't pay $180. But um, that's what the suggested manufacturer retails uh, price is. But the point is, he said, look, I'm new, I'm starting, help me out. And that was uh, five years ago. And he said, I can even sign for five years. And I said, you know what? This guy looks like on the ball, he's a nice guy. I I'm gonna go ahead and give him a chance. It was a moment where uh, sometimes you like somebody and you feel like this person and I said are we gonna grow together he said yes I, I know you want 4,500 but if you start me at three in six months I'll pay 3,500 I'm gonna invest some money here so I helped him six months later we moved to 3,500 a um, couple of years later he wanted to renew because now he so we renewed for three years at 4,000 and uh, he just explained to me that he's gonna spend more money in and he's getting new products and stuff and he started to really grow well even during COVID, the guy paid on time, expanded, went to a mall and another mall, and now they came to renew. When they came to renew, I, I had just flown in, and I didn't do my due diligence. I always do the due diligence. I made a mistake. I thought the meeting was going to be the next day. So I, in the morning, my attorney says, okay, they're here. I said, it's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. It's today? Yeah. You always do your homework. So they came in, and they started telling me that... Um, you know, they don't want to go too high because the market is still recovering from COVID. The cruise ship business is at 40% and haven't picked up and all this. But mind you, there is zero vacancies. Airbnb is on fire here. There's zero vacancies in commercial. And I was caught off guard. So I said, okay, I think we're going to go ahead and, and do it for you at uh, just a small increase. Uh, but your lease does not renew till like several months from now or whatever. And I said, okay. Well, when they left, I did some research and I found out, geez, I was wrong. The lease should go to $6,500. So, so this is when it begs the question, can you go back in your word? When do you go back in your word? When do you go back in your own word when it's going to hurt you? And how do you do it? You, well, you admit you messed up. You got to be truthful with yourself before you're truthful with anybody. So I called them and I said, I made a mistake. The market is a lot higher and a small space that I'm renting down the street is just happy to renew at 6,500 without even flinching. So this is what the market is. I made a mistake. I admitted, can we meet? So the first response I got was, was the father and son. The, the father replied, this is, we shook hand on the price and this is, this is. So I said, please, let's go ahead and meet. So they came in. It was very tense when they arrived. And when they sat down, I said, I messed up, I made a mistake, and this is what the market is. I think you'll agree with me, you know the market, that's why you came earlier 
and you wanted to negotiate everything and you were anxious to do it. So you can insist and resist, or we can work together on a win-win. And you know, I don't want to rehash the past, but you had told me when we started that we're going to grow together. This is the time. And he said, you're right. I'm willing to pay 5,500, not 5,000 or 4,500. I said, let's make it 5,750 and I'll give you a flat for five years. And uh, he said, if you think it's fair to do four years only, and then later we can reassess, it's fine. So I admitted my mistake and that, and I was vulnerable and they said, okay. And at the end, he actually gave me a success story, which I posted on YouTube. You can look at it on YouTube. It's called Zafiro, Z-A-F-I-R-O. And you can Google it on YouTube, Zafiro success story. And he says, I've been a tenant with Sharif. He helped me grow. It's unbelievable. And every time he comes to my office, he takes pictures of my 12 rules for delegation and stuff that I have on the boards here. And he said that he watches the videos. And so it was a great way to admit my mistakes and grow. And that's the way to work with tenants. An existing tenant, the best way to help them pay more is to tell them, here are the comparable rents. I may rent to somebody else. This is important for me because it is a multiplier. I want to work with you. Can I give you a flat rate? Can I give you a little bit longer? Can we work it out this way and that we have it as a conversation? It is seldom when I tell somebody, it's a take it or leave it. And if I do, which I did last night when the guy wanted an extension, I put it in words like, it's a, please, I said, please understand. You have one hour to respond. It's a take it or leave it. And I said, I hate to put it this way. I said to you in, in all due respect, because of our friendship and I want to be upfront with you. He replied, big capital, thank you, that's fair. Let's go ahead and sign the doc you signed with the extension. So everybody wins. Okay, cool. Hopefully I answered the question, Ishan. Keep up the good work.